Trippy Red's Mansion Music released about two, what, like maybe 36 hours ago or so. And it is star studded, bloated with features ranging from Chief Keef, Future, Lil Baby, Juice World, Lil Dirk, Nardo Wig, Lucky, Rich the Kids, Summers, Bridal Rodriguez, Key Master Slum God, so on and so forth. This album has 25 tracks. It is heavily bloated. It has a giant, like, rock star punk aesthetic. And Trippy is going blow for blow on almost every single track. How is the album? Well, whenever it comes to the general production on here, it is pretty hard hitting, pretty aggressive. We have slashes of just the guitar ripping through, and then we have some moments, a little bit of psychedelic influence, some heavy distorted bass, 808. And when it comes to the lyrical content, ignorant, ignorant, ignorant in the best way possible. And by best way, it's a trippy standard. Um, there's nothing in here that is going to stand out completely, at least in my book. With 25 tracks, you're eventually going to run into sort of the same drum, sort of the same loop, some of the same guitar riffs as well. And this is where you will hope the features do enough to where it carries those moments where it sounds repetitive. And that's whenever I feel split on the album. Now, Mansion Music, we have a pretty solid intro, slowly escalating with Atlantis, Chief Keef doing great on the instrumental here, eventually going into Psycho, which I I, I, I wanted a little bit more from, um, from Future. I'm going to be real with y'all. And going for another track fully loaded with Trippy, Future, and Lil Baby, Future just doesn't seem to really set himself apart or stand out enough from Trippy's vocals compared to the instrumental. And it just sort of reaches a, a middle point where it's like, hey, you know, I got paid to be here. <laughs> I got paid to be here. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my my little end. And Lil Baby, I love the fact that, hey, you know, he tried. He tried to rap on the track, but it just doesn't fit and he isn't anim animated enough to carry. Nightcrawler by Juice World and Trippy Red jaw dropping banger this is a smash hit for me juice world oh, man a young talent that was able to sound like he's featured on his own music from the hook to the verses to the canvas to that energy that druggy and druggy verses that unpolished vocal that gets refined shouts out to whoever worked on this nightcrawler this was exceptional chef's kiss going on to van helsing dark brotherhood that's when it for me it reaches a bit of a lower point uh, Nightcrawler was such a highlight that from here on, from Van Helsing to Free Rio, it was just like, all right, we get some. It, it's it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. Crazy Teen, uh, Crazy Train, Trippy Red, and Travis Scott. This is the follow up to Dark Knight Duma, a much highly anticipated collaboration that completely flaw, uh, falls flat. Instrumental is crazy, but there isn't like that sort of um those changes in Dark Knight Duma where it was like sort of rise up with the orchestra and then go down. Trippy decides to do the bare minimum repeating the same bars over and over and over in a, sort of a higher pitch. Bay, yeah I do, yeah I do, yeah I do, yeah I do. It's like what? And then whenever it came to the actual verses it's just that it followed that same can. It's like might lose my cool, don't try to shoot but high pitch lacking the energy and lacking the presence Dark Knight Dumo had like something with Trippy Red on that track is whenever he's just sort of um doing his crooning moans and the and the way it just sort of stretches out on the track and it just collapses back in in itself we don't get that here he tries to let the instrumental carry it through but Trippy Red at his best is when his voice also plays as an instrumental on top of the verses being discussed. Now, Travis Scott, uh, almost everything that I said about Trippy applies to him, except it is a little bit more of a performance. We don't have to deal with an awkward higher pitch, but it's just forgettable. Um, one thing that I enjoyed on Dark Knight Dumo was the fact that we got that Astroworld mention and it felt like, oh, we're creeping up on that season. You know, Astroworld, my planet, my home, tying that in with the song. And then everything that went in it was um, delicious. On here, there was a lot to be wanted, but honestly, recently, Travis Scott just hasn't been doing it. And then, of course, the way the song ends with that Bay, yeah, I do pre-chorus and then the chorus just sounding lazy and then the verse that we get in the end overstays is welcome this is a track that we could have been done at the three minute mark and that extra 51 second is a chore to go through oh wait <laughs> did i forget to mention there's another pre-chorus and chorus on here definitely not the most enjoyable going on from here Lil Durk 
does what he can on muscles. Again, it doesn't feel like he belongs on here. Nardo Wick, I'm not the biggest fan. So when it comes to the raspy voice performance, it just loses me. High Hope, Strippy Red, and Big 30. It was okay. Same thing with Die Die, Trippy Red, and Lucky. I felt Lucky uh, gave it a different dynamic than what we would have usually got. Who else? Rich the Kid. <laughs> Let's not even waste our time with this. Trippy Red and Summers was a bit enjoyable and this last portion honestly from like track 17 to 25 listening from start to finish could be a chore but some of the highlights would definitely be toilet water with ski mask the slump god g herbal on pure the fact that g herbal already wraps off beat and the instrumental itself isn't something to where it has that rhythm was able to flow by pretty great from what my experience with g herbal's verses rock out trippy red and chief keep we need chief keep to rap on more of these instrumental because he really is going crazy and the baby giving what i believe would be an under underrated verse him having some what i would like to say a more animated flow compared to the rest of them and trippy red with a can't tell me nothing can't tell me nothing hook is something that it does enough to carry through but whenever we just repeat the same five verses over and over again something he's displayed throughout this album it just gets tiresome trippy red little b swag like ohio i never want to hear a track like this again and colors by kodak black being the send-off the final the final song on here i, I would have enjoyed a bit more from kodak uh of course we get the yo pierre want to come out here production is more entertaining but for me overall it i felt kodak kodak and trippy white could have i don't know something there was some magic here that just wasn't executed as much as I would have liked. But with that, this is Trippy Red Mansion Music, heavily bloated, full of, pe uh, full of features. Unfortunately, there's a lot more average mundane featured performances. You're not going to get anything out here where I was just like, wow. Um, they, uh, Trippy truly brought out the best of these artists. At certain points, these artists don't even come off as uncomfortable on the beat or to a point where they're able to truly outshine or be at their best. It's, a little, it's very underwhelming. The instances where Trippy is sort of on himself, like Mansion Music and Van Helsing, it, to you know, a certain degree, they are more enjoyable. He's able to sort of be in his own ball game. But then Trippy hasn't leveled up what I want to say his hooks, honestly, his hooks and his lyricism enough to be entertaining to carry everything through, which of course offset it with the features. And then the features being a bit underwhelming, like for uh, from what I've said, some of the highlights being Juice World, Ski Master, Glo uh, Ski Master Slump God. Chief Keith, G Herbo. And overall, I would have to give this album, Mansion Music, a solid four out of 10. It wasn't terrible. And honestly, it wasn't average either due to the fact that even shuffling through some of these tracks, it was just like, there's a lot of people that shouldn't be on here. There's a lot of songs that should have been made. It felt like every single song Trippy recorded trying to create this was put in place. <laughs> was put in place. That's the mansion music, Trippy Red.